Fellas, we appreciate y'all coming out tonight. If you can get that microphone to Coach. Thank you, sir. Coach, which area of your team is returning as the biggest strength from last year? Well, returning, you know, I mean, I went here. So, <laughs> just based on that, uh, the area of the team returning, the biggest strength is just all of them. A lot of times when this transition, guys jump off the ship. And in our situation, we had a lot of guys come on. We had about 90 kids this week. Uh, and that's just been our strength is in numbers. I'm not going to isolate one area of the team, but we collectively have uh, bought in to what we want to do. I say our biggest strength is probably the weight room, uh, very different element. Uh, coach our place is an older guy, kind of uh, classical way of doing things. We brought a new approach to doing things, and I think the kids have bought in to what we're trying to do with our program moving forward. And who are some of those new faces that you think are there? They're all new faces to you, but who are some of those newer faces that you think are going to stand out? Well, I think a quarterback playing here, you know, he's been playing receiver. Uh, stepped in since I got here in the spring. He wanted to be QB, he wanted to earn it. Uh, I don't play politics, put the best kids on the field. Uh, he's one of them stepped up. We got Zeman. He, he was playing out of position, he had to play that linebacker. Uh, he's playing strong safety for us now, and trying to transition the game to play at the next level. Uh, we got an underclassman, a lot of people know, uh, Tayshaun Poole, uh, sophomore safety. He got off for last week. Uh, should be a G5 kid in a couple of years. But I want to say he's a new face, but he's going to have a bigger role. And all the guys up front, we got probably three new offensive linemen. They were in the program last year, but you know we kind of put them on a diet, got them in shape, and we just hold them accountable. So two guys up here that have big roles for us this season, and I say offensive line. Who in secondary have a big role. And then we're just trying to get some young guys to come in and contribute right away. All right, let's mix this up. Let's get the microphone to Zeeland right now. Zeeland, what's an area that you think is going to be most improved from last season? Um, I'll say most of our secondary because last year we was in a 3-5. Um, in a 3-5, yeah, we were in a 3-5, now we're in a 4-2. So I think our secondary is most improved this year. Okay, perfect. Dion. What would you say your team's identity is going to be this year? Uh, my team's identity, I said it's really based on our quickness. We're very quick and fast and athletic. So, uh, yeah. Very nice. All right, Coach, what are your goals for Howard for this year? Well, we have to carry a one and mentality. We just want to win today, every day. Uh, so, the perfect season would be getting in the playoff. Uh, We've been a middle of the pack team with our research coming into the job. I think Howard's been right at about 400 in the winning percentage. We got to get over the hump. We got the, we got the tools to do so. We got the administration to do so and the district to do so. And it's time to bring a championship to the city of Lincoln with city schools, not private, public, Beaver County. And again, that's our team goal is to win the region championship. Uh, luckily, we're not in the team with any t uh, other opponents in our City, so so we, we get the luxury of that, and uh, you know this team goal is really make the playoffs. Yeah, and, and we've been in the middle of the pack, and I think this season is the season to get out of the middle group and move to the next level. And what's it going to mean for Howard to play in an event like the Gridiron Classic on a college field? Well, again, it's going to be good ex good exposure for our kids. I mean, I come from the college ranks, and during that first start part of the season, all the colleges they they get to come to this game because it's not a recruiting violation they're at their stadium. So being able to get that exposure is really the biggest thing. And these kids in our area, they see the court and kill, they see everybody else getting exposure. Why not us? Uh, so now that they able to see that, we're we going to put on for the city. And it being, it, it, it's being ran by Bill, so we got a lot more of what we're going to do with it. And we had teams playing in another class that was in the city, but this was ours. So we got, we're going to key in on the thing and make it a big event, and it's only going to get bigger. And again, uh, just for the kids, the exposure piece is, 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 is the most relevant. And then, you know, for everybody, you know, it's getting some familiar foes. For us, we get our neighbor rival. I, I get to go against the longest tenured coach probably in the region. And I don't know if it was set up by design, but it's been the old school guy with the new school guy. We're just trying to have some fun with it. All right. Anybody, any of the members of the media have any questions for Howard? This can be for the coach or the players, um, maybe both if you feel like it. Uh, Jeremy mentioned the region is a little weird. You're having to travel to Augusta a lot. Um, that might matter more for other sports that play you know, twice a week, but I think it still matters for football. So, how 
do you handle that, that long drive for a few games out of the season? And um, how do you keep your mentality the same when you have to travel that far? Mm -hmm. Just kind of new on us because we traveled really far, so we really got to adapt to that. But I'll say um, all we got to do is just stay focused because it can't be a long drive, so it's hard to stay. Man, for us, you know, it's just going to be in our preparation. We have to prepare that we're going to have to probably do some things earlier in the day that we're not accustomed to. We got three trips out, it's just out east. Um, and for me, it's just going to be an adjustment. Yeah, for Coach in college, we knew if the trip was longer than six, shorter than six hours, you're riding the bus anyway. Um, so again, it's going to be just the preparation of the time, getting things started early where we can get off the bus, stretch a little bit, probably do a walkthrough, try to eat again. You got to feed them three times almost at this time. Lunch, pregame meal, and that postgame meal. So just knowing that in the preparation. Wherever, wherever you play, we just spot the ball. We can play Savannah, we can play Augusta, we can play in North Georgia, it, it don't matter. You know, everybody got aspirations to go play in the playoffs. You might have to get up on a Saturday and go plus four anyway. So it is what it is. We don't spot the ball play wherever you tell us to go. We just kind of wake up earlier and start the preparation that much more sooner. Anybody else for Howard? With all the, you know, the transition of a new job, you're coming in from out of state, even though you were just in with Jackson a year or two ago. Um, are y'all in all that where you need to be to get this season started with everything that's going on with the staff, all the logistics that go into it? Uh, do you feel a little better now than you did two, three, six months ago? Well, six months ago, for sure. Because, uh, again, it was just getting that staff in peace, uh, getting the staff complete. Uh, once we got everybody in place, you know, it's kind of been ball is ball. You know, I've been coaching on you know, three different states, four different states. So, I mean, the preparation is going to be the same. The heat's a little bit different down here than it is in Missouri. But knowing that, uh, you know, the kids have adapted, the schedule and the attention to detail has been one where, regardless of where you've been, your preparation had to be done. And, you know, just having the staff on board now and school's in, everybody's schedule is kind of, you know, uh, in place where it needs to be. We've been able to prepare the way we need to. And again, six months ago, it was. It was, I went to spring, play spring game against fall, and I think it was five coaches out on the office, coach, and Coach Capri and his staff had to travel there. So, I mean, it's just been one of those where you learn in the lay of, of the land, and, and I accept I'm built for field. <laughs> Have you adapted to the heat? Uh, again, I, I, I coached there in Florence. I was in North Alabama for a while, and Southeast Missouri is the same heat, but when I was north in St. Louis, it was a little cooler. But and the mosquitoes aren't as bad as they are in Swamp East Missouri right now. So the adjustment has been, you know, we went in the afternoons by default this summer. It's because we knew we had to play a three o'clock game in, in, in the first the first one of the year, and then we got a five thirty one the week after. So part of our preparation of going in the afternoons was let's get comfortable being uncomfortable. So when the time comes, we're ready. With all this change, excuse me, with all this change, what's the mentality of the players in the locker room? Taking very serious and more leadership, I'd say. Like, we have more leadership in the locker rooms, no horse playing, everybody locked in, ready for practice. Anybody else? All right, we appreciate you.